Welcome to Star 6 Minis. My name is Tian and I love painting miniatures. I especially love painting details on my miniatures that make them unique, different or stand out in some way. Sometimes this is a unique color scheme, pose or effect, and sometimes it's just painting a part of my miniature until it looks good or the way it's supposed to. I try to get ideas from all over, my friends minis, art books, other miniature painters and channels, and even art that has nothing to do with miniatures. Sometimes it doesn't even have anything to do with miniatures or painting. Wherever I get my inspiration from, I like the fact that my miniatures have something different about them. However, way too often I see that many of the effects that people achieve require an airbrush or a skill that is tricky to get right. Even after I got my first entry level airbrush, it couldn't do the precision work or I didn't have the skill to create similar effects. One of these effects is a really cool lightning effect for weapons, but I guess you could use it on any other surface like armor or a face to represent psychic or magical energy flowing from a power supply or a powerful character's eyes. So I experimented and tried different blending techniques, but many of them just didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. But somewhere in this experimentation stage, I figured out a way to get an awesome lightning glowing technique right. Without using an airbrush and without needing to be good at wet blending or any of the other advanced blending techniques, I thinned down my paint. A lot. I don't just mean until it is at a nice consistency to paint with. I pretty much make a wash out of the color I want my lightning effect to be. Then I start plotting out where my lightning bolts are going to go. I try to drop on the wash I made in a controlled manner. It is hard to get the brush to behave when it is this full of watery paint, but do your best. You can see my brush isn't playing along at all, but I don't want it to go everywhere, so I take my time. This is going to be the glow around my lightning bolts. I started with an initial coat of black paint because I want the lightning effect to be high in contrast. Contrast is one of the most important aspects to incorporate into painting miniatures that make smaller elements very noticeable. Since lightning painted at its brightest is white, I chose black for my background. If you want to get a cool negative effect, you can work from a white base and use black as your lightning color. The orange I'm adding is just an accent color and you can really use any other color that suits your army's color scheme or the world that your characters will be in. down paint doesn't have a lot of pigment, but this is good as it means that the layer is more transparent, much like something glowing. I want to retain some of the black for contrast, but I want the orange to stand out, so I repeat this process two times, waiting for the layer to dry each time. But you can repeat it as many times as you need to, to get the effect you want. Because different paints thin down to different consistencies, will require a different number of layers. After waiting for the glowing areas to dry, I paint in the lightning bolts with a sharp tipped brush. Variation is very important here. You don't want to repeat patterns that your eyes can pick up. So be creative and loose. Don't be scared to zig or zag, create a few dots here and there, join a few lightning bolts together, or even leave gaps in the light. 
it all adds to the effect that the lightning is naturally arcing across the blade. All the colors we need are now on the mini, but they don't look right yet because they look like they're white lines running through orange clothes. To make it look like lightning, we need to create the illusion that the glow is coming from the white lines. To do this, we are going to use two washes. First, I take the original orange wash that I used to create the glow and I wash the entire area with it, making sure not to leave too thick a layer. This is using the same wash as before but not dropping it on as thick as before. Once this is dried, I'm going to use a black wash. I just used black paint I had at hand and thinned it down a lot, and I applied it to the areas I wanted to darken down. I focused on the areas that I left black from before, but also crisscrossed over some of the orange glowing effects and white lines I painted earlier. This is to create more variation. Variation in brightness is another tool to make the lightning look natural. I try to avoid areas where two lightning bolts connect leaving them to appear brighter in the final effect. You can repeat these steps over the entire surface or only in certain areas until you are happy with the look. The black wash saturated the black and the orange wash saturated the lightning glow effect. While leaving the white lightning bolts visible resulting in the contrast I was after in order to make my weapons stand out. And there we have it. I think these halberds for my Grey Knight interceptors came out pretty awesome, and they will definitely make the unit look intimidating and menacing. I hope you found this guide valuable and that your weapons, armor, eyes, or any other elements you want to add lightning to can stand out on the tabletop. Feel free to ask questions or make a suggestion in the comments below. If you want to support this channel, you can like and subscribe or even hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, head on over to my Patreon page if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching my video. Until next time, this is Tian from Star 6 Minis, Hoping you enjoy painting every mini.